Followed by Forrest Dell in the centre, Thornton Lass followed by Think Again, Snow Shandell, then Bavarian Melody. At the head of the others came uh, Ripple Brook. Bella Fuse Gallop when the starters said go. Hop skipped and jumped for a couple of strides, and DiMaggio was checked shortly after the break. Western Prince sizzled out of the gate and went to the lead. Wada Wally second, Trust Player third. Southside Park settling on the fence, and then Bella Fuse followed by Miss Amity and DiMaggio. The Nighthawk fourth last on the outside as they make the turn out of the straight tidy Roscoe's up on the rail Sterling Vance second last and Great Balls of Fire dropped out to the rear Western Prince the leader past the tea trees by two to Wada Wally and one to Bella Fuse who's three deep now steaming up on the outside Southside Park on the fence on the inside of Trust Player two and a half to Miss Amity and two lengths to Tidy Ross DiMaggio sticks to the rail and slides forward then Sterling Vance the Night Hawk and Great Balls of Fire's two lengths away at the tail. 36 the time for the first 500 metres and Western Prince is the pilot. Leads by a length. Western Prince, one in front of Bella Fuse and one to Wada Wally on the fence. Trust player fourth, one out, one back on the outside of Southside Park and Miss Amity's three back in the running lane. Then DiMaggio covered by Tidy Ross, now Sterling Vance and Great Balls of Fire both went for the back of Tidy Ross. Great Balls of Fire got it. Sterling Vance was left three deep, so the driver decides to go forward and the Nighthawk last past the judge, the red lights and the bell. 31.5, first quarter of the mile. Western Prince on top of the 900. Three quarters to Bella Fuse. Wada Wally third. Locked up on the fence. Trust player fourth and waiting to peel. Southside Parks awkwardly placed on the rail and then Miss Amity. Sterling Vance working forward three deep. DiMaggio's cluttered up on the fence in traffic from Tidy Ross. Then great balls of fire and the Nighthawks last. 32.4 the second split. Western Prince a length in front at the 600. Over Bella Fuse. Now Trust player Peels and goes after the leader. What a Wally stuck to the fence. Southside Park trying to work into the open. Miss Amity's out very deep and then DiMaggio followed by Tidy Ross. Western Prince two in front at the 300 over Wada Wally. Trust players flat as attack. Miss Amity's run to fourth and then Southside Park but Western Prince in front. On the bend at the 200 Western Prince two clear of Wada Wally. Trust player third then Miss Amity and Southside Park. Western Prince clear with 100 metres left to go and is holding them at bay. Put down the glasses it belongs to Western Prince. Western Prince from go to woe. What a Wally second. Trust player third. Then Southside Park. Miss Amity, DiMaggio, Tidy Ross, the Nighthawk. Great balls of fire. Bella Fuse and Sterling Vance. Stone Motherless. 435, race four at Albion Park. A clear winner, Western Prince from What a Wally and Trust Player. Mini Valley dividends on the previous race run there. Yeah, Black Say Cheese, but they've backed a couple of runners in the race. Set to go. Racing. Good dispatch in the centre. Lawrence Choice came out well. Say Cheese blew the start and is about three behind the second last dog. Lawrence Choice went to the lead early. Going into second place was Pretty Crackers. Up third main sector, Brisk Green, followed by Stash the Loot. On the outside it's Akubra Court, Say Cheese and Deona was last of all. Up towards the corner, the reserve Lawrence Choice is out in front. Pretty Crackers second. Going to third main sector, then four or five to Brisk Green. Lawrence Choice led for home. Second, Pretty Crackers and main sector. But it's all Lawrence Choice and Lawrence Choice goes home well, wins at about four lengths to main sector, Pretty Crackers third, then Brisk Dream, Akubra Court, Say Cheese, followed by Stash the Loot and Iona was last of all. Number nine is the winner and that's Lauren's Choice, came out beautifully out of the four box and has led all the way. Will pay $7.90 on the win tote and two sixty dollars for the place. One gets up for second, main sector, $1.60, two Pretty Crackers in third position, $1.80. Winner running the time of 30 and 48, and Lauren's choice too. The journey to... off they go. Now the favourite to began fairly well, but Aim Victory is looking for the lead. Going with it, Tubal Kane, easing into a trail sports craft, and from out wide, the Rocketeer. Aim Victory's desperate to get across around the first turn, and uh, is uh, just about to do so. It does get there. So Aim Victory got to the rails and leads in second placing Tubal Kane. Now he eases back on sports craft, left in neutral goes to the rails, and then further back in the field, the Rocketeer might end up with the 1-1. Next, then on the inside, Firebound. 
a couple of metres to Darradale, four metres raging. Back to the Tarly Academic, down the back they head. Aim Victory won the early battle and steadies them now. Led by three metres, Sportscraft, the filly is going to be forced to do all the work in the run. Tubal Kane on the inside, the Rocketeers went out and won back. Then left in neutral on the inside, Darradale the outside. Another four metres further back in the field of fire ban, raging around it and then at the Tarly Academic. They went the first quarter in 32.6, so he's been able to steady them right up on aim victory. It is a couple of metres in front. Sportscraft, she looks to be going very well though on the outside. Down on the rails behind them, Tubal Kane, then the Rocketeer. Three back on the inside, left in neutral. Around it in turn was uh, Darradale. Still well out of it, raging. Fire bound the inside and the Academic at the tail. They make their way towards the back straight and aim victory the leader by a couple of metres in second placing Sportscraft on the outside. Tubal Kane's had a good trail back in behind them. So too is the Rocketeer on the outside. Fourth the second quarter, 32.8. They're sprinting up though. Uh, then Darradale left in neutral on the inside and the rest then headed by Raging down the back and they're at it up front. Sportscraft on the outside. Got about a head clear from aim victory. Six metres then to Tubal Kane, the Rocketeer. They're all struggling to make ground on the first two and then eight metres further back in the field. Darradale from left in neutral. Halfway around the turn, Sportscraft got a couple in front. Aim Victory fighting on. Then Tubal Kane, the Rocketeer. Darradale and Raging makes late ground into the straight. Sportscraft in front from Aim Victory. They're clear then of Tubal Kane. Sportscraft the leader. Aim Victory desperately driven. Tubal Kane running home late. It's Sportscraft in front. They're pretty tight, but she'll win. Sportscraft did all the work and beats Aim Victory. Tubal Kane gets third from left in neutral. Raging. Then Darradale, the Rocketeer. Well back in the field, fire ban, and last time was the academic. Punishing guard the finish for the two-year-olds. But the filly, after sitting outside of the leader, has done the job in very good style to take out the Australian airline. Good news that uh, Eastern Suburbs defeated St George at the football stadium tonight. For us humble Eastern Suburbs supporters, there are very few of us left. All set to go now for race. All set for the seventh event. Bunny up to the boxes, stand by for a start. And they're racing. Flying out was April Dawn. Love two lengths in front of BG Blitz second. In the middle was Classy Baron. Admiral Suspect out wide was cut at fairly deep. And this presents the run to Jones Whisper on the inside from Amy's Doll, who tracked it along. A length to Boston two step. And last was Jack Denver. Down the back, it's April Dawn out by the best part of six lengths. Jones Whisper second. Third, the outside was Amy's Doll, followed by Classy Baron. Five for the back, BG Blitz, followed by Boston two step. Jack Denver and Admiral Suspect. In the straight, though, it's all April Dawn sprinting well clear. April Dawn wins by five lengths. April Dawn first, second was Classy Baron, third was Jones Whisper, followed next by Bidgey Blitz and also Boston two-step Amy's Doll and Jack Denver and a last of all was Admiral Suspect. Here we put the moz on him, Admiral Suspect, but a mad railer follow him from the inside. Three, four and one race seven at Penrith. Wentworth Park race five, nine, Lauren's Choice seven ninety and two sixty. One main sector, one sixty. Two pretty crackers, a dollar eighty. Quinella 14.30, the trifecta 133 even, race five at Wentworth Park. The big one of the night at Wentworth Park is the New South Wales final of the National Distance Championship. That's race number eight. I'm looking forward to that. Hope you are too, and I hope you're enjoying sky racing tonight. show fans have been demanding is now on Sky Channel every Wednesday night. You wanted to know the latest in boxing news? You've got it in Sky KO. We'll show you the great boxing action local and international. Interviews plus exclusive vision from Boxing Illustrated. Join Mark Warren, your host, every Wednesday from 5.30 p.m. Eastern. There'll be plenty of action at Temptations on Thursday, April the 9th, when the girls from the Australian Playmates steam up the stage. Body painting, tug of wars, cream and jelly wrestling, live strip tease. Girls, 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 to set your hearts racing. Tickets are $20 and available from Temptations or book through Ticketek. Plus, you can be part of the show as Sky Channel records the entertainment for the Skylarks program. The Australian Playmates fulfill all your fantasies live on stage at Temptations. This one's bound to get your temperature rising. 
OK. Now, Mooney Valley, they're about to move up for the running of race five, the Australian Young Drivers' Championship. We've done those totes at Wentworth Park race five. There you are, 912. That's how you saw them. Globe Derby. Dividends there, five sports craft, two even, 140. Four aim victory, 130. Three tubal cane, 310. Quinella, three even. The trifecta, 35, 20 race five at Globe Derby. Let's go to Mooney Valley now and Brian Markovic, the sixth race of the Australian Young Drivers' Championship. Tell us a little bit about some of the drivers, if you can, Brian. Well, uh, Hilton, uh, Justin Warwick from uh, Western Australia, he has the series uh, all sewn up. He drove uh, a couple of winners at uh, Shepparton during the week and uh, filled a placing uh, with uh, a very good horse on uh, Thursday night at Geelong. So Justin Warwick from uh, Western Australia, he drives Dr Sarnell here, and it's been heavily backed, number six, carries the gold, black hoops and uh, armbands, uh, Cougar. Is being represented, of course, by Ricky Duggan from Tasmania. And having a look at uh, Dr. Sarnell, number six now, it's into six to four on the tote. Number six, uh, Dr. Sarnell, into uh, six to four. Two, uh, Cougar, is out to nine to one. Four, Atomic Field, is now at uh, nine to two. So it's a shortener. Number five, Captain Arnadite, is at 11. Six, Dr. Sarnell, at uh, six to four. Moving along now, race five. Seven, Westburn Star, at 12. Eight, Miss Anonymous, at 40. Nine, Reformist, now five to two. It's a shortener and 10 bombshell is at 16 to 1. So a couple of good shorteners in Dr. Sarnell Reformist. Almost set now, race five. Leading driver in the series is uh, Justin Warwick from uh, Western Australia. He's on the heavily backed Dr. Sarnell. And they're all set for a start. 2,380 metres, ready in the back straight. Racing. Westburn Star can't go the early toe. Beginning quickly is Atomic Field. It's trying to head off Cougar early and does. Dr. Sarnell is four deep on the top turn. Captain Arnladite is three wide. One off the rail is Bombshell. Eight metres away, Miss Anonymous. Some ten metres to Westburn Star. And Reformist is last on the rail. Going through Atomic Field will lead around the turn early by four metres. Two on the outside, Dr. Sarnell. Ending up with a one out, one back trail is Bombshell early. From last now, Reformist. He comes one off the rail and now pulls to the outside, three wide travelling down the straight the first time. Atomic Field in front for John Calday for Victoria but whizzing around the outside is Tammy Mulroff on Reformers from New South Wales and now travelled up into second place and within a neck of the leader two circuits out. Third the rail is Cougar for Ricky Duggan from uh, Tasmania having a nice run. So Dr Sarnell for Justin Warwick from Western Australia. He now has the cover. He's fourth on the outside leaving the straight. Switching back to the rail three back as Westburn Star for Brendan Purcell Victoria. On his outside is Bombshell for Sari Torrens from New South Wales. Inclined to pull though. Second last is Captain Arnold Dite for Bruce Allen from South Australia. And eight metres away Miss Anonymous back of the tail for Queensland's Nathan Postlewaite. At the lap and a half mark lead time 50. 57.7. It's Atomic Field in front. Almost two metres to on the outside reformist. Dr. Sarnell travels fourth on the outside. The rail and third is Cougar. Then Bombshell on the outside of Westburn Star. Six metres away, Captain Arnoldite second last and eight metres away, Miss Anonymous. Travelling around the turn towards the 1100 they race in the first quarter in 31. It's Atomic Field in front. Almost two metres to on the outside reformist. Dr. Sarnell has a nice run on the outside followed by Cougar on the rail then Westburn Star on its outside in turn came Bombshell and the last two are Captain Arnoldite being trailed up by Miss Anonymous they've got a lap to go towards the 850 and the leader is still Atomic Field narrowly by neck to on the outside Reformist who's done all the work from the outset well Dr Sarnell's had a very good run in the race for the last 1700 metres on his inside is Cougar second quarter 31.4 out of the straight towards the 600 they race then Bombshell on the outside handy on its inside Westburn Star Five metres to Captain Arnoldite and last on the rail is Miss Anonymous. Towards the 4.50 they race down the back. It's still Atomic Field in front. By two and a half metres to on the outside Reformist. He's under the whip. Well Cougar's got out from behind the leader in plenty of time. Now pulls to the outside three wide. Dr Sarnell's being driven along. He's under plenty of pressure. Bombshell has gone past him. Then Captain Arnoldite needing a run followed by Westburn Star. And eight metres away Miss Anonymous. Third quarter 28.3 inside the 200. It's a Atomic Field in front for John Caldo, Victoria. He's over five metres in front. Cougar comes out of the pack into second placing. Atomic Field at the 100, though, still over three metres in front. Off Cougar trying hard. Captain Armladite coming out of the pack is absolutely flashing home. It's Atomic Field in front. Captain Armladite steaming home tighty. Atomic Field and Captain Armladite hit it locked together. It's a photo. Cougar close up. In behind them came out wide. Miss Anonymous. 
followed by Reformist, then Dr. Sarnell Westburn Star, and Bombshellers run last. All right, a photo for all placings, but I think South Australian uh, Bruce Allen will get this horse home, Captain Arnoldite. Number five over four, Atomic Field. Now, we've got a sensation at Wentworth Park. Let's go to Peter Johnson. Thank you very much, Hilton. Yes, the fave is uh, out of race six, or one of the uh, two favourites in the race, w Rita's World. Number seven, Rita's World, was taken out only a few minutes ago at 8.58 by the stewards acting upon... Beaten number four, third number two. Here's Pete Johnson. Box for the fave, two moons, race six. Racing, two moons has begun nicely. So did Rain and Hale and Adios Prince on the outside as they charged to the first corner. Two moons went to the lead, settling down. Adios Prince, Rain and Hale behind it. And then three lengths to Zoom Rose, Aussie Vogue and Worth It and Hidden Forest is last of all. With one lap to go, the favourite two moons out in front. By two lengths, Adios Prince, Rain and Hale the outside. And then three to Aussie Vogue, Worth It, Zoom Rose and last Hidden Forest down the back. And two moons going away nicely. Leads by two and a half to Adios Prince. Rain and Hale stay Starting to get tired. Aussie Vogue passes it. On the fence behind them. Worth it. Up to the corner. Two moons is nicely clear. Gave the slip to Adios Prince. Aussie Vogue goes to second. But it is all two moons and two moons goes on to win nicely. Two moons wins it. Four lengths to Aussie Vogue. In third position Adios Prince. Hidden Forest. And then came a break in the field of Zoom Rose. Worth it and Rain and Hail was last. Four, two and six. And of course the golden Easter egg April 28. Now let's go to Newcastle. Here's Wayne through the centre going to the first bend they were followed a fair way back by Paradise Peak going around the first corner Valiant Linden drops out to be second last and Glen Gary the favourite is at the tail of the field absolutely torrential rain coming up to the home corner they've got the bell at the judge this time coming into the straight and send him is the leader I think Yep, it's send him on top by a length and a half. Balakura Rebels in second spot. Moving up on the outside, Dara Jen is the first without cover and very deep now. Here's Glen Gary coming from the tail of the field up to join the leaders. The only place to be in this rain. Followed further back by Paleface George as they go by the post. A length and a half further back to Charmondi on the outside. Followed a fair way back by Hobby Horse and then came Valiant Linden. After the bell, they head towards the back. And uh, the lead time, they've managed to run 61.3. Not a bad effort. Send him leads down the back at the 700 metre mark. Through the driving rain by a length on Balakura Rebel in second spot. Now Dara Jan has given up on the outside. Still plugging away as Glen Gary. A length further back to Paleface George. I think it is putting itself into the picture on the outside now. Paleface George. It's run up about midfield, followed by Valiant Linden. Then came Sharp Monty getting off the fence and running on pretty well and ripped Terra to the outside. They're inside the final 400 and the leader is Sendim. Balakura Rebels off the fence and coming home well. Glen Gary is still there. Out deep on the track, pale face George running on pretty well. Around the home corner, send him first for the judge, 2.50 to go. It send him a length in front. On the outside, Balakura Rebel is trying hard to pick it up. Glen Gary is coming home well, trying to get a run closer to the inside. Paradise Pete, here's Paradise Pete going after send him. Send him Paradise Pete and what's this on the extreme outside? Flashing up Hobby Horse. Hobby Horse has come from nowhere and it's got up to win. Hobby Horse on the outside from Zendim and Paradise Pete. Balakura Rebel is a driverless horse. One's come to grief going past the post. Followed further back in the field then by Paleface George. Charmondi. Just about ready to run. Strands fly. Racing. Sammy Batman made a big dive in the air and hit the ground. Galloping. Sammy's in trouble. Bonadan and Dashing Lindy came away very quickly. Blazing Pancho began well. It's close up fast away. Joey's leader stepped well from the 10 but was in the squeeze box going to the first turn. Then electrifying Paragon Pete and Kim Bolton run. Followed by Sammy Batman, Pavel Lee then a length and a half away Victor Boy followed by Tudor Hero the backmarker who began well he second last and Mobile Duke had dropped back to the tail of the field Bonadan's looking for the lead and down the stretch at the 2100 metres mark Bonadan takes over Bonadan leads by a length and a half to dashing Lindy Wonder Blazing Pancho who left the fence and Joy's leaders rushing up deep the driver of Joy's leader 
took hold. He was trying for the back of Blazing Pancho, but the driver of its close-up said, no, you don't. That belongs to me. Joy's leader was left wide and now works into the death as Bonadan takes them to the back. 1,800 left to run. Bonadan a length to Joy's leader in the breeze, dashing Lindy third. Blazing Pancho fourth, sweet seating around Paragon Pete and its close-ups three back in the running lane. Pavolito midfield on the fence, one to electrifying, one to Tudor Hero inside of Kim Bolton run. Then Movil Jew followed by Sammy Batman and Victor Boys two lengths away at the turn of the field. They've completed a lap. The first 1,000 took them 82.3 a galloper. Mobile Duke in trouble. The TAB favourite galloped as they headed up onto that top bend. And now he's back at the tail of the field. Bonadans under pressure. Here's a rusher. Kim Bolton run. Streaking around the outside to tackle Bonadan for the front. Dashing Lindy third. Joy's leader fourth now with cover behind Kim Bolton run. Blazing Pancho three back in the running lane. Paragon Pete on the rail. A length away it's close up around Pavolito and then Tudor Hero, Sammy Batman, Victor Boy and Mobile Duke tacks on again at the tail of the field. 30.8 the first split of the mile. Bonadam was running them along through that 400 and leads by a length over Kim Bolton run. Wonder dashing Lindy. Joy's leader now sweet seating on the outside of Paragon Pete. Blazing Pancho right behind Joy's leader. Pavolito's on the rail. Then it's close up, followed by Tudor Hero electrifying. Sammy Batman three deep starting a run. Victor Boy latches onto him and Mobile Jukes a length away at the rear. 32 neat for the second section. Bonadan in front past the tea trees. One to Kim Bolden run. Dashing Lindy third with nowhere to go. Then Joy's leader blazing Pancho deep now. Pavolito going through in the centre, then Paragon Pete, followed by Tudor Hero, it's close up Sammy Batman, then electrifying Victor Boy and Mobile Duke's last, Bonadan in front at the 350 metres mark, he's a half in front of Kim Bolden Run, still working to close the gap. Dashing Lindy third, Pavolito fourth, Joy's leader flat, Blazing Pancho's under pressure. It's close up to the outside as they turn the bend. Bonadan in front, Kim Bolden run looks the only danger. Bonadan leads with a hundred left to go from Kim Bolden run, then Pavolito, but Bonadan's clear, and Bonadan will lead most of the way. Bonadan first, Kim Bolden run second, Paragon Pete third, then Dashing Lindy, Pavolito, Tudor Hero. It's close up and Victor Boy electrifying Movil Juke, Joy's leader Sammy Batman and Blazing Pancho was last of all. All right, 387, the placings Albion Park race five. Moving in will at Penrith, here's Rod. Thanks, Hilton. The eighth event, the Lawson Super Factor over 5.30. Toad favourite is two foot rod front. Foot rod forward at 11 to 8. Moving forward, well, foot rod forward moves in with Pearl Cash and also Spring Attack. Yankee Choice comes up with Wanneroo Babe and also Lady Baroness. All set. Set to see them go. Ready for start race eight. Let's fly. They're racing. Swift Flow began well from second. Pearl Cash third. The outside Lady Baroness followed by Wanneroo Babe. Mr. Waltz in by the Yankee Choice got around it. Is prominent tonight. Followed by Foot Rod Fort. Second last spring attack and left lamenting. Last of all was Lady Baroness. Down the back straight. It's Pearl Cash in front by length but tracking wide. Swift flow in the middle and now Yankee Choice hooking around them. Three for the bank to Wanneroo Bay. Followed next the outside by Mr. Waltz to the home turn. Pearl Cash in front now from Swift Flow. They're fanning, moving up in the middle. Wanneroo Bay. Wanneroo Bay takes the front and Wanneroo Bay for the money. Wanneroo Bay first photo for the minor Swift Flow or Yankee Choice. Followed by Pearl Cash and also Mr. Waltz. Foot right fort and back at the rear of the field was Spring Attack. And one coming down to the judge now is Lady Baroness. All right, nine and a photo between three... And racing, Brian Oliver began quickly. Turkey's Express and also Historic Chimes are going forward hard in the run of the first turn. Historic Chimes has got the speed by the looks. Yes, it does get across Turkey's Express and Brian Oliver. So Historic Chimes works to the lead. Gunbearer goes forward out three wide. Should give Turkey's Express a trail. Brian Oliver behind the leader. Leader went roughly there, Historic Chimes. Then Sun Vision on the rails. Three or four metres to Vital Morris. Down on the inside, then Petite Philly, the... 
favourite, Springden Flower was second last, settling down, and above the sky was at the tail, down the back, Historic Chimes the leader, will try and steady them now, led three metres, Gunbearer second, Brian Oliver in behind them, Tukey's Express 1-1, one, one. next on the inside, Sun Vision, then four metres to Vital Morris, Petite Philly next on the inside, four metres away to Springton Flyer, and last of all was above the sky, halfway around the top turn, leader getting a bit of a breather now, Historic Chimes led by two metres in second place in Gunbearer, on the inside Brian Oliver, four metres further back in the field, then two Tukey's Express, they are followed by Vital Morris, Springton Flyers coming around them three wide, Sun Vision on the inside, uh, then Petite Philly in behind horses, and further back above the sky, they race out of the straight, now Springton Flyers getting shoved four wide, and the leader Historic Chimes from Gunbearer, three wide Tukey's Express, down on the inside, Brian Oliver, Sun Vision in the centre, then Petite Philly further back, Vital Morris, down on the inside, in fact one off was above the sky, and Springton Flyers got a big job to do, going into the back straight, second quarter they went 32-9, so they've certainly gone slowly in the mid stages, Historic Chimes on top, let a metre, in second place in Gunbearer, Tukey's Express out three deep, Brian Oliver behind them, Sun Vision in the centre, then Vital Morris, four wide, Springton Flyer, but she's struggling, Petite Philly's got nowhere to go, and then above the sky, off the back, the leader still was Historic Chimes from Gunbearer, Tukey's Express coming at them now, out three deep, behind them, Brian Oliver, then Sun Vision, Petite Philly's got nowhere to go, on the turn, the leader Historic Chimes, Tukey's Express trying hard to get on terms from Gunbearer, and further back, Petite Philly into the clear, Historic Chimes in front, Tukey's Express now, Petite Philly flashing home, Historic Chimes hanging on and will get there, Historic Chimes wins two metres, Petite Philly, Tukey's Express has run third from Sun Vision above the sky, Brian Oliver next in from Gunbearer, Vital Morris and the favourite Springton Flyers finish last. Disappointing run by the mare, but she does have bad legs. There may well be a problem. 584 Globe Derby Race 6. Let's update Wentworth Park. Heading to the start, number one, Rhiannon. Racing. Groves Rep came out awkwardly, although drove through the middle, and Groves Rep uh, led at the first corner. Groves Rep is clear, going to second. Robin Tosca, Callum Underboy, Pretty Tosca. Sparkling Man is wide, and then came Gifted Girl, Rhiannon, and last of all, Placid Gift. Racing well clear, Groves Rep leads about four or five lengths onto the corner. Robin Tosca second. Callum Underboy followed by Pretty Tosca and Sparkling Man and Gifted Girl, but around the corner. And the favourites home, Groves Rep leads by five or six to Robin Tosca. Groves Rep wins. Well, Robin Tosca second, Callum Underboy third, and then Rhiannon followed by Gifted Girl, Sparkling Man, Placid Gift, and Pretty Gossip was last of all. 267 Wentworth Park Race 7. Let's update Mooney Valley now. Racing. Level advice away very quickly. So too is Appen on Lad and Franco Tiger from the outside makes a line of three. Level advice driven out with the whip will go through and keep out Franco Tiger. Appen on Lad now eases for third, followed by Franco Elect. Four metres away on the outside as they race out of the straight the first time as Harbour Glow. Then it's Motor Power and Halya. They're bumping for stride, leaving the straight. Four metres to Tower of Strength, followed by Classic Alba. And Aberdeen dropped out to last. Lead time 22.5 along the back inside the 1500. And the leader level advice as expected by three metres. At his wheel is Franco Tiger. Appen on lad trails the leader. Fourth on the outside is Harbour Glow. Fifth on the rail is Franco Elect. Then Halya. He won that battle. He's three back. Back on the outside, trailed up by Tower of Strength, then Classic Alba. It's Motor Power, two metres away, second last, and last is Aberdeen. Travelling down the side before the 1150, first quarter in 30.3. In his favoured role in front, it's level advice by two and a half metres to Franco Tiger. A metre third is Zappin on Lad. Up on the outside is Harbour Glow having a nice run, followed by Franco Elect on the rail. On his back is Classic Alba, three back. On the outside is Halya. He travels up to be three back on the outside. No more than about 12 metres off the lead as they leave the straight. Third last is Tower of Strength, followed by Aberdeen, and it's motor power relegated back of the tail. At the 800 metres out of the straight, second quarter, 30.6. In front, level advice, he's had a nice run by two and a half metres to on the outside, Franco Tiger. Appen on lad on the rail, then Harbour Glow, Franco Elect is held up. Halia's about to pull out now, three wide, followed by Classic Albert Tower of Strength. Aberdeen is second last and last, it's motor power towards the 450 they race. Level advice still in front, almost three metres. 
leaders. Two on the outside, Franco Tiger, who draws up now within a metre at the 350 before the turn. Pulling out now three wide, Harbour Glow. Sahalia's out four wide. Franco Alec comes off the rail, followed by Appen on Lad. Then Tower of Strength, Classic Alba. Aberdeen is second last and last. It's motor power at the 180. Third quarter, 29. Level advice in front by a metre and a half to Franco Tiger trying hard. Then Halyard down the outside, followed by Harbour Glow. But Level Advice is clear over the concluding stages. Franco Tiger can't pick him up with Halyard. And Level Advice leads all the way. Level Advice, he wins by six metres in 157.1. Franco Tiger second, Halyard third. Appen on lad close up, out wide. And the race was Tower of Strength running home. Then it's Motor Power, Harbour Glow. Aberdeen in behind them, followed by Classic Alba. And Franco Electors run last. The class of the Inter Dominion showing level advice over the shorter journey. Far too good for Franco Tiger, a big run. And Halley had just found the rising class a little too steep. They've run a very slick last half there, I reckon. Then they're racing. Dwelling at the start was My Jetter. Easily winning the break was hidden. Last race straight to the front, but is tracking very deep. Bev's Joy on the outside, cutting up along the fence was Sue's.